Hey guys, welcome back to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. This is a blog, I guess, or uh, just a quick note I want to give uh, to all of you uh, in reference to screen recording. Um, I have Windows 10. The best app that I've found for recording um, audio and, uh, and just your complete screen or a partial part of your screen if you want is an app or a program called Ice Cream Screen Recorder. Um, it is free to download and you can run it, but the problem is for free, it only records in 720p, you are limited in time, so on and so forth. And it's, I guess it's good if you just want limited screen recording, but um, if you have a, a YouTube channel such as mine and uh, you're doing t tutorials on Shotcut and things like that, you definitely want a screen recorder that will be able to record the whole screen. Uh, give you options and obviously record in high definition uh, 1080p. Um, well, in order to do that, you have to pay for it. Now, if you go to the site and, like you say, click upgrade to pro, uh, these this is what it's going to cost you. Okay, no, I guess this is a one-time fee. But anyways, I'm gonna I need to I need to tell you guys a little something about this fee. When you upgrade to pro. Uh, that gives you a license. Uh, you'll get an email. You get a license in that. And the license is only good for two computers. I understand why they do that. Uh, they don't want somebody purchasing it and then giving the license to their buddy and their buddies giving it to their buddies. And next thing you know, you've got, uh, you know, <laughs> they're not making any money. Everybody's got ice cream screen recorder for free, uh, the pro version. So I understand it. But they need... To put into their system some way of pinging your computer or having you log in with a password in order for you to use it and they can uh, you know double check or put a key on it uh, so that they know that it is, was yours and you purchased it because there you know this is life things happen in life um, your computers are going to crash and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you my experience with ice cream screen recorder I was gonna bring up my my uh, my emails that I got from them, but the issue with the, me bringing up my emails is it's got my license in there, and I'm going to have to blur it out or do something, which I could do. But back to this. Um, I was using my computer, which is an HP old-ass computer, and it, you know, it, it, it it's laggy, uh, especially for doing any kind of screen recording or even any video editing. So, you know, but still, I used it. Uh, I also have a laptop, or had a laptop. It was a uh, Lenovo ThinkPad uh, 420. It was, it was very, very old. And I had it installed on that. And I was doing screen records on it. But the problem was, every time Windows 10 would upgrade, uh, you know, it would update itself, I would lose my audio. I can't do screen records, and I can't edit videos without my audio. So the only way to fix it unfortunately, was to redo Windows completely. I would have to say, uh, you know, I, go into settings, go back to the Windows, you know, and say, listen, I want to reinstall Windows and start from scratch. So I would have to reinstall the Ice Cream Screen Recorder, which I did. And when I went to put in my saved um, key, it denied it. So I emailed the company. They emailed me back and said, this is your key. Uh, we, we've got on record that you used your key twice. Who are you giving your key to? How many people are using this? So I email them back and I say, listen, guys, um, I'm not giving my key to anybody. Um, you know, this was my circumstance and I explained it to them. And of course, they emailed me back and said, sorry, you know, OK, yeah, whatever. And then. I email them again and tell them, you know, you guys ought to set, make it so that if you ping your system, you know, or if you install it on your computer, you have to log in in order to use it, you know, so that they can ping your computer, make sure that, you know, that you only have two computers and that it's you somehow. Uh, because other other places do it, you know, other places you can install it on your computer a couple of times. You know, people reformat their computers every once in a while to clean them out, to make them run faster. Um, now I run into my next problem. Uh, my wife purchased a new laptop for me uh, so I can do video editing. Thank you very much, honey, and it works great. Problem is now, 
I wanted to do a uh, another shortcut tutorial and I needed ice cream screen recorder and I went to reinstall it and I put my my uh, key in and guess what I got that same message code you know you this key that this is the wrong key try a different one and then retry again so here we go again so I emailed them told them what's going on you know I got a new laptop blah 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 and now it doesn't work well guess what they haven't answered my call and my password still or my key still does not work so guys if you're gonna purchase ice cream screen recorder pro or upgrade to it you need to make damn sure that the systems that you are on are good enough to the point where you will never have to redo them and that you're not at that point where you're going to be getting another laptop or computer very soon because if you try to reinstall this your pro version and use your key again you're going to be in the same boat I am you're going to be screwed and now the only way for me to use this is I'm going to have to buy it again and guess what I'm not buying it again Right now, I'm using the, the onboard Windows. Uh, I guess you use it through Xbox. and uh, yeah, It took me a while to figure it out, but I'm using it. And I think I'm just going to go with this from now on. It's a little harder to use. Yeah, I get it. Um, but I I'll be damned if I'm going to buy this again. I only own two computers. I own my laptop. I own my uh, computer in my office. And to be honest with you, the computer I have in my office, the HP, the old dusty piece of crap I told you about, I'm probably going to get a new one of those here, you know, maybe next year or maybe this spring. I don't know. So when I do, I'm going to be right back into the same problem I'm at right now. So, see guys, I don't recommend this if you're going to go pro. If you use it, use the free version. It's not very, it's not, you know, high def and all, you know, a 720p, that's what you're going to get. You don't get all the features. Look, this is the free version. Five minutes. Uh, you know, WebM. That's your uh, your change outport video format. Uh, you know, Kodak VPM8. You know, these are all. This is what you get with the with the paid version. This is what you get with the free. See what I'm saying, guys? So it's it is what it is. And I told them I wasn't going to. Uh, well, I actually said I was going to include. A little tidbit of this on my last video upload but I think this calls for its own video um, and I wanted to let you guys know you know you might want to check into this uh, before you uh, go purchasing um, the product so guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh, I want to thank all my subscribers you guys are awesome make sure that you like or make sure that you share this video uh, and next to subscribe there is a little notification bell make sure you're ticking that on that way you get my videos as soon as i release them uh, and i will see you guys on the next one